Vanessa Garden is a designer for all seasons and as an activist and entrepreneur, she's always shown fiery courage. Having made her mark in politics and business, she's now a force to be reckoned with on the international fashion scene. Vanessa presented a collection for 2018 at the New York Fashion Week, which featured her signature blend of art and activism. New York City welcomes new arrivals, but if you want to break into the US market, you must have something edgy and exciting to sell. Fortunately, Vanessa has an inventive mind and she made a compelling style statement at the Big Apple's premier fashion event with a collection entitled The Question. Zaki met up with a designer in Josie. Vanessa Gounden has never shown respect to boundaries that anyone has tried to impose on her. And she's faced down sexism, Eurocentricity and apartheid with determination and flair. She is a master of her own destiny and I'm so excited to finally meet her and to find out what she's been up to recently. Walking among Vanessa's designs is like strolling through a gallery with exquisitely executed creative ideas wherever you look. But this isn't all art for art's sake, and her work also has a message to convey. Vanessa favors artivism, expressing activism through art. Hello! Hi, sir. You are one tough woman to pin down. I know, it's been really hectic, but come, let's have a chat. Super. I always absolutely love this store. Thank you. Vanessa, having achieved considerable financial success, you decided to go into fashion. Why? It's always been my passion. I've always wanted to have a brand of my own and I've been fully inspired growing up and watching my mum stitch my dresses and more particularly having read avidly about fashion and looking at fashion magazines and one particular person inspired me and that was Coco Chanel. So when we entered into business, my husband and I, one of the things we said, when the timing is right, I can launch my dream. One of the key things that I found was that to be taken seriously in the fashion industry, I decided that we needed to position the brand as an international brand, and hence the launch that happened in London. I think it was a very good decision at the time. It helped bolster the brand mm -hmm. and also showcase South African talent and South African ability in the fashion sector. I'm very happy today to say that everything is conceptualized, designed and produced in South Africa for the global market. What were some of the challenges you faced? Starting a brand from scratch is very difficult, but the biggest challenge is having to find the right kind of fabrics and tools and skills to be able to create what your dream is about. How would you describe your approach as a designer and your signature style? I draw inspiration from mood boards and what trends would be, but I'm very much focused about what is it that I want to communicate through my designs. And I'm always focused about creating timeless pieces as opposed to something that is very high fashion and changes seasonally. Do you think that fashion can break down prejudice and taboos? Yes, I think fashion is a very powerful vehicle for me to be able to overcome any form of prejudice. Today, the, in the world of unisex dressing, fashion is amazing to be able to appreciate the individual for who they are and how they attire themselves in terms of their outward expression. So for me, fashion plays a very important role, more particularly in terms of dialogue. The last collection that I showcased in New York is called The Question. And this collection was particularly inspired by the crisis that we have in terms of our education in the country. And I just felt in the age of technology, I would like to see people go back to basics. And that is about reading and getting people to create a sense of curiosity. It's about questioning everything around you that grooms you into a well-grounded individual. And I think for me, children need to have very, very good foundations in order to decide what they want to do when they grow up. You took on New York Fashion Week. Yes, it was an amazing experience. Having gone with a very small crew, I think it was just three of us from South Africa, we made do with what we had as part of our tools and utilized our networks in New York to really make a huge success of the show. I'm very proud of it because it received amazing reviews. It's actually given us great exposure. And I think a great exposure for South Africa as a whole. Can you take us through some of the pieces? Sure, Zach. Come, let me show you. Vanessa's take on the trench coat has become a contemporary classic. 
So this is one of my favorite trench coats. The details of the print is very much in depth about the trees, which actually forms the making of books. And you would see the details of it. It's hand painted buttons and so are the buckles. His attention to detail is stunning. The Vitruvian man, which is actually creating balance and how we juxtapose ourselves in becoming knowledgeable with the environment. I talk about the Big Bang Theory and you'd find that the background colors of this actually represents explosion with the question marks being just thrown out in terms of asking where have we originated from. The details of the silhouette for me was also very much about the embellishments and this is a technique of where we laser cut the question marks on a Gans and have each one hand stitched with Swarovskis. So all of this is actually done here in South Africa by my embellishing team. Many local designers outsource their production to China. You produce locally. Yes, indeed. One of the most important things for me was to have a vertically integrated business. So I decided I was gonna bring home all of my manufacturing and it's now produced in Cape Town. And you would see that a lot of care and love goes into the details. So this is the lock and key, which represents unlocking knowledge. And this is all hand sketched and printed on with very specific details of threads making the artwork come alive. So this is wearable art. Who is the Vanessa Gounden wearer? For me, the Vanessa Gounden wearer is a very confident, inspiring, woman who would like to express herself through what she wears and is somebody who is not afraid to wear prints. With 2018 marking the centenary of Madiba's birth, do you have a Nelson Mandela message? I would appeal to all South Africans that we focus on having to better ourselves by engaging with each other, by working collectively, and by ensuring that our children are given the best foundation to be able to continue in taking the continent forward. While Vanessa Gounden doesn't pretend to have all the answers, she certainly does challenge the tyranny of the trend. And her questions have got international fashion fundies thinking about South Africa in a very different way.